So this is what I was greeted with when I came to start my van earlier for my last appointment. Um, tried jump starting it, it wouldn't accept the jump start. You can either start motor trying to turn there, so just try and go. But it's all indications of a low battery. So we do a battery test there, keeping getting sporadic readings off this really. Um can we get a zoomed in view on that at all? Or just gonna give us that all along. So we get that reading there. I'm going to run another battery test right now. Just run another one. So what we do is we just run in. Regular flooded. It's around 800 cca. This battery should test that. It scores 220 at 11.85 volts, but I've been driving it out regularly and it should definitely have a lot more than that. Um, so, yeah, this is what it does again. Just thought I'd give you a little insight. All indications flat battery, so we're going to try and get a battery put in it and see how it goes. Give you an update. Later, MGD with this mammoth of a task. So, the average household modern car has around 5,000 feet or one mile of wiring in it. Today, we're dealing with my van, particularly, and we've got some wiring. So, namely, this connector here was found to be running up here and down behind, well it wasn't running up here, there's just another cable that joins up, runs down back behind that there, down underneath, back up into the battery box. Um, the air fry is just completely burnt, but what we've found is, is this connector here is burnt. So we can see, and I was wondering if anyone has the answers, we can see I would say it's green crispy bits there. I wouldn't say that's that almost looks like corrosion along the wire. Um, but that comes back to this junction box here on the air fleet. So we can see it there. That's the last point of burning that I can identify. You can see, I'll even put my torch on in case it helps. Everything here, these are all our grounds. So this is generally as far back as what I seem to be able to see. Right, so what that means anyway is, is this is ground here, is providing a mega ground. Something in here. <laughs> but that there runs along. Oh. Please don't ask me how I found out the answer to this. Ugh. Oh, we're still building, guys. Right, so you can see two looms exposed there. Is that our loom in question? There's our loom in question now of old barnt wire coming through. Can you see that? You can zoom in for years. You can see bits of it exposed there. And that goes up. Give my camera angle. Uh, you can see it there perfectly. So we're going to get this battery box out. We're going to be finding out where it goes. So we can see this other line that runs next to it is that one there. So that's not our part of concern. As you can see, I've already started taking it out. We'll zoom back out. I've already started taking that one out before as so I was believing it was going to be that one running over along towards the back of the chassis but it isn't as you can see there that one there gets tugged if we come up it's that one there which is leading into the back of the battery box or so 
but I can't see that directly from inside the cabin. So we might have to have the battery box out to see where it's going. And as you can see in this little lovely angle here, this is the wonder of the camera. See that there? I can see that that leads directly up above the battery box there. So that's where we're going to next, folks. Well, I'll give you an update. I like a subscribe, get in touch. Although well, this isn't what I do. <laughs> but I've got to fix it too, as everybody's telling me it's going to be weeks. 2,000 years later. Finally, MJD with an update. So what I've done here is, is I've just, I've isolated the circuit all the way back. I've put an additional uh, wire on just between here, just to make sure I've got enough. I have completely disconnected everything that's on the back, that's on the back there, which is all the emissions related sensors, so the oxygen sensor, the temperature sensors, the DPF pressure sensor, the vaporizer, glow plug connection, um, I think the only thing that's actually connected right now is, is the fuel vaporizer pump. But this is the remarkable thing. So, so the theory is it was a no crank, no start. Um, I've gone down to all of that there. I've fucking been on a mission in there. But when we come into it here, I expect it to have a load of warnings on. I mean, look at it, it's got nothing attached. But this is the proof in the pudding. engine we know we're going to expect to have lights and warnings here and there but yeah so that means we can move it ah right that's what I've been waiting for it sounds so loud there's, there's no air box there's not a lot of stuff in there the minute you expect it to be like that I needed to prove we could crank she's not all dead I'm so thankful for that there, what you've just got to see, if I'm honest. But yeah, let's get it sorted.